Hi guys and welcome back to another Procreate tutorial. You've been requesting it so much that I decided to do it again for you, so I hope you're gonna enjoy this one as well. So let's get started. Every digital illustration I start off from initial sketch, like I do in traditional art. So what I like to do is I take my favorite lines brush because it works for the initial sketching process but it might be any other brush that you feel comfortable with sketching. It's just this loosely sketching process when you put down all the elements of your drawing, you decide upon the main features of the person that you're drawing or the thing that you're drawing. So you kind of lay down the proportions and all that stuff that you will decide upon your later results of the drawing. So like I said, I like to take the lines brush that I will uh, link up in the description box in this video. So please check the description box. Everything is going to be there. So um, yeah, I take this lines brush and I sketch loosely the shapes, the proportions of my drawing, of the face that I'm going to be drawing today. And the trick that I like to use at this stage of sketching, the initial sketching, is I like to flip my canvas horizontally to make sure that every element of my drawing is kind of good after you reflect it horizontally, flip it horizontally. So uh, everything is kind of in proportions and is correctly laid down. And as you can see on this uh, video process, I kind of had a hard time to figure out the good proportions for the face that will look good while it's uh, flipped in the good way or when it's flipped uh, horizontally once more. So so I had a couple of struggles here and there to make it look good, but eventually I managed to do that. So I really advise you guys use this flip horizontally method because that really helps. Then after I'm done with the initial sketching process, what I like to do is I'm going straight for the outlining and for the line art of my drawing. So the thing that I'm doing is I take the opacity down of my initial sketch layer and I add one layer above the initial sketch layer. So I draw over my initial sketch and I stay with the exact same brush, but uh, I put the opacity to the 100% and I take uh, the size of the brush to minimal. I mean, still I don't want the lines to be super thin, but uh, I kind of go down in the size when it comes to the brush that I'm gonna be using for the line art, because I want it to be more refined and more precise. I want to go out of this uh, loosely sketching process uh, at this point and I want to refine my drawing a little bit more. So in this stage I'm just following the lines of my initial sketch, I make them more clean, more refined like I said already. So this is the moment that you kind of refine once more your sketch to the point that you're happy with and to the point that your whole line art is looking good. And today I decided to experiment just a little bit with the outline that I'm doing because usually in the past I would take the black outline. But I figured out that this might look a little bit too harsh sometimes and that this black outline is just sometimes a little bit too in your face kind of. So I hope you guys understand what I mean. So today I decided to go for a dark brown outline, so this little difference might do the trick for me because it will be lighter than a deep black color like I always use, but it might still be visible, which I really like to go for, because I kind of can't force myself to draw without outline, because I'm so used to it that I don't think it will be something that I'm gonna feel comfortable with, so instead of using black, and instead of just skipping on outline at all, I decided to go for something in between, so to say. So that's why today I'm picking the dark brown for the outline. And the next step of doing my today's illustration will be laying down the first colors and uh, now I'm gonna do the skin. And this is the thing that I've been always doing, also in traditional art, I'm always starting with the skin because I feel that this is the main point of the drawing, the skin, the face especially. And then I go just around it, I add more details, so I just want to focus on the skin more, so I have 
my main point of focus that I can, you know, layer all the things around. So my favorite brushes for coloring in the skin are definitely the round brush and the medium hard airbrush from the default Procreate brushes. But recently I decided to enlarge my brushes collection for Procreate and I actually found a really cool brush set by Alicia Ney. I will tag her in my description box so you guys make sure to check that out. And she had a really cool brush set that was called Basic Portrait Brushes, I think it was like that. And this uh, set is actually about uh, some skin brushes, mostly, and some hair brushes. So I really like that and I just wanted to, you know, experiment a little bit more with different brushes. So that's why I decided to go for it and buy this set. And so far I really like it. I can recommend that definitely and also why I'm mentioning this because for this drawing I was actually using a couple of hair brushes. And if you decide to buy this brush set for uh, yourself, you might want to use Skin Softener Brush and also um, Soft Blend Powder Brush and Blend Powder and Powder. These are my favorites from this set and I was switching in between them to create the skin and the skin texture for today's drawing. And now to the point of how I'm coloring the skin. So first of all, I'm laying the basic color, the primary and the main color that I want the complexion to be. And then to create both shadows and highlights, I'm taking either two or one tone darker color and one or two tones lighter color. And I'm just, you know, putting this uh, on her face in the places that I want the shadows to be and in the places that I want the highlights to be. It's really up to you. It depends where the source source of light is coming onto your drawing so uh, there's really no method of how you can you know put the shadows and uh, highlights correctly of course it's kind of like makeup you put the highlights in the highest points of the face and those that stick out from the face and you put shadows where the shadows is naturally coming on the face so this is my little advice to treat drawing like makeup, kind of. Uh, so this is something that I always suggest people to do. And then you can just, you know, play around with it. You put one layer of color, then you blend it in. Then you put another layer of color and then you blend it all together. So it's kind of just adding more color, blending it in, adding color, blending it in, and just going back and forth, doing those little tweaks and you know, just doing it to the point that you're happy with your drawing. And as the blending tool for the skin, I also advise the Skin Softener brush from the Alicia Ney set. Or if you don't have any extra Procreate brushes, I would go for a medium hard airbrush or the soft airbrush, I think it's called like that. These are the best brushes to achieve this glossy skin uh, texture. I mean, it's not really texture, but this kind of glossy, a little bit plasticky looking skin. So uh, yeah, these are good for that. And then once I'm done with coloring in uh, the skin, the basic coloring of the skin, I also like to uh, add the hair color, of course, on the another layer, uh, because then I kind of have my illustration put together, sort of, so I know where the particular colors are. It gives me this kind of perspective on my drawing and I kind of like to work on everything together. I don't work like, you know, doing the skin, then doing one eye, then doing second eye, then doing lips and stuff. I really like working on everything together, so, uh, so the drawing is kind of coming to life, so to say. Uh, in all the places in the same time. I hope you guys know what I mean because it's really hard for me to explain that in words So well, I just hope you guys know what I mean basically So well, uh, I'm laying down the hair color and I'm just placing those first shadows just to kind of you know lay down the shadowing Thank you. 
And uh, then what I like to do is I'm gonna focus on the details a little bit. But just like I said, I'm not putting too much work in them. I'm just gonna, you know, do the eyebrows to um, distinguish where they're gonna be kind of to place them. Then I'm gonna color in the pupils so I know what kind of color I want to do for them. Then I'm coloring in the lips and, you know, doing all those details on the face but still not focusing on them too much and not putting the attention to too much details because like I said I like to work on everything you know at the same time And then once I'm done with putting the first layers of colors and the shadows and those first details, what I like to do is I like to go back to doing a little bit more of outline. And this is exactly how I do while I'm doing the traditional art. It's really similar process when it comes to me because I also like to come back to outlining and to line, line art in the middle of my process, at the end of my process, kind of, you know, I'm working simultaneously on a lot of different elements. So that's why I like to go back to the outline and fill the spots that I feel like they need more outline and just basically go over everything so the whole drawing is more put together. And then actually once I'm done with the second layer of outline, I like to go back to doing the details. And then it's really up to you in which order are you gonna apply it because there is really no rules. I can't even tell you what I did first and what I did last, but I just uh, went kind of everywhere. Uh, maybe I did eyebrows and I added a little bit more eyelashes, I added some reflections, then I also uh, added a little bit of freckles on her face because I thought that this would be, this would add this more um, authentic uh, feeling to my drawing and authentic feeling to the skin so I also like to add freckles and um, then I um, went in and added a couple of shadows on the hair so just like I said I worked on everything kind of simultaneously because I didn't like to focus on one element I was just kind of tweaking everything together so it came as once and it was just, you know, finished illustration at the end. That's kind of obvious, but well. So well, I hope that this kind of explains how I created my illustration. I hope that also the visuals on the screen would be more helpful, you know, um, along with my speaking, with my voiceover. I hope you guys gonna manage to see what I mean. And, uh, and I also hope that the description of which brush I'm using at the moment on the screen is really helpful for you. Also, please don't forget to check the description. Everything is gonna be written down there, all the brushes that I'm using, all these that I'm using that I downloaded from someone, that I bought, they're gonna be listed down there. So please, please check it out.
And well, I think that will be all for this tutorial. I really hope it was helpful for you guys. And now you can also enjoy the time lapse from the Procreate app. I really love watching these myself because it's just straight off a full time lapse of the process of the drawing on iPad. So I'm enjoying them myself and I hope you guys are gonna enjoy them too. And uh, like I said, I really hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Let me know if you want to see more of Procreate uh, stuff. If you want me to try something new, some new techniques, definitely, definitely let me know. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you hanging out with me here. I really hope you're enjoying my stuff. And if you do, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to be notified for every time I upload. And uh, well, like I said, don't skip this video because there is gonna be a super cool time lapse of this drawing. So I hope you will manage to watch that as well. And well, let me just say bye for now and I will see you in my Saturday's video. I I hope so take care guys bye
never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must Put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut Everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now